Hello, everybody. This is Larry Hernandez, and this is the eighth in the weekly recruiting prompts episodes. And so this one's going to be very, very valuable. The number one request I get from recruiting teams is, can ChatGPT tell me if this resume is a good match for this job? So we're not only are we going to, I'm going to show you the prompt and share with you the prompt. We're going to build a custom GPT so you can do this. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to show you one that I've already built today, just so you can kind of see what we're going to do, and then we're going to build it. So real quick, this is a score a scorecard assistant. It's a GPT, and what you're going to do is I'm going to pick a job. I'm just going to cut and paste it. I just picked a random job for a data scientist, and I'm going to paste it here, and I'm going to hit the go button. This GPT is going to analyze this because of the prompt I gave it. It's going to look at the requirements. It's going to look at, you know, it's going to break down all the requirements by skill set, and it's going to give it a weight. And so it's doing its thing. Keep in mind, this is something I did on one, on one try. This can be really, really customized, right? And I could customize this. If you were going to recruit for one job for a long time, we could build a GPT that is an expert on that one job. This GPT lets you pay, post any job and any resume, right? Just to kind of tell you what it can do. So it's created a scorecard, which in itself is, is really cool. So that, this is what the results are going to look like, okay? Now I'm going to upload a resume. I chose a random here. I've downloaded the resume to a PDF. That way we don't have to cut and paste it. And I use the attachment here. And I'm going to pick this. Sorry, his, his name's probably going to come up. And I'm going to hit go. So what we've done so far, we've cut and pasted a job description. It's analyzed it and turned it into a scorecard. Now it's looking at this resume and it's going to create, it's going to compare the two. So let's let it, let's let it do its thing here. And so really it's turning, it's creating a resume scorecard. So that's kind of cool. And then it's going to kind of compare the two. The one caveat I'm going to say is that every time I do this, the results um, can change a little bit. So I really need to spend more time training this. It's just I wanted to do this for the video. But in reality, we would spend a little bit more time looking at the results and testing them. But it does a really, really good job. So here, here is the final evaluation here. I've uh, tried to make it a little bigger. So it recommends for interview. It gives you the score. It checks, and this is new. The last verse, the last time I did this, it didn't check it. It checks the requirements that the person does have, and then maybe the ones that it doesn't have, right? And so let's build this for ourselves. Okay, so the magic behind the magic behind any of this generative AI and chat GPT is the prompt. Okay, so that's why I really encourage you to take my class to understand the basics of how ChatGPT works. Then you can squeeze the most out of it um, in cases like this. So here's the prompt. I've put it in a role, which is the first thing I teach in creating mega prompts. Put ChatGPT in a specific mindset in a role. I've given an, an objective. And then I've given it an example of how I want the scorecard to be. Now, I didn't create the scorecard on my own. If you have one that you use for a company, Awesome. Paste it in here. I asked ChatGPT to create one, and it did. Uh, that's another tip. If you're stuck, ask ChatGPT to help you. Just tell it what you're trying to do, and then it'll help you. So this is a prompt, which I'm going to share with you. We're going to cut and paste this prompt. I'm going to go to ChatGPT, and we're going to, at the top right, we're going to go create. And I'm just going to put this right under instructions and I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to I'm going to paste the prompt in create and we're going to let ChatGPT do its thing really it builds itself if you if people knew how easy it was to start playing with this you'd be doing this more right now to get it perfect and 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 show ready there are some extra steps we need to do, but this is just showing you how fast we can build something. 
So I would build this for almost any project that I'm doing just so I can have, I can be consistent. Uh, a lot of us have looked through resumes and, and we've looked through job postings and, and then maybe on day two, you get this aha moment, but then sometimes we get busy and we forgot what we've learned or we pass it on to someone else. So this is like this engine, this AI, that's going to be just an expert at consistently giving you the results for the match. Okay. So that is good. Now I'm going to go to configure and I created some instructions. Instructions are important. So I've made some rules and I'm going to replace this and give it some rules. And for conversation starters, I'm just going to put, please share a job description, or we can go the other way. Please share a resume. Those are just conversation starters. You don't really have to do this. I'm going to hit save. Right now, it's going to be only me. Give it a second. It hasn't named it or given me a logo yet, so. I'm just kind of rushing through this. All right, so now it's ready. So now let's do the same thing. I bet you we're going to get a little bit of a different result, but that's okay. So I'm going to copy and paste this resume. It doesn't have to be machine learning. It could be anything. That just happens to be what's on my plate right now. So I'm going to paste this and I'm going to hit go. In the beginning, sometimes ChatGPT doesn't know what you're doing or it might start asking you questions. And that's where you would go back to the instructions and say, you know, only do this. So now it's breaking down the job. And it's creating that scorecard. Keep in mind, as you're getting feedback from the manager and candidate, you could adjust this experience. And I just grabbed a job description. Best practices would be to create, share your intake notes, create your screening questions, and, and a kind of advanced job description. And then make a frequently asked questions out of that. That way you really hone what ChatGPT can do. Because all it can do is... is check for what we're giving it. And all we've given it is a job description and we know job descriptions typically aren't enough. Okay, so it's created a scorecard. Now I'm gonna upload the resume and I'm gonna hit. And it's always interesting when you first build these. This is literally the first time this ChatGPT has, you know, you're watching it do it for the first time because we just built it. And so every time the output is a little bit different, you'll see from the last time we did it, the output's a little different. So you'll go back to instructions and say, you know, Remember to use the sample output that we put and we could make it a rule, you know, rule number four, only output in this exact format. So it's doing its thing. And I hope you can see the value of this, especially, you know, managers, you've got new recruiters or sourcers that want to be recruiters, coordinators that want to be sourcers, recruiters that want to, you know, recruiters that want to go into sourcing. And we don't really have a lot of resources to teach or just, you know, a mentorship or some expert that you have access to. Having your team play with this and do this is going to open up, open up the possibilities and get them consistently having higher output. So it's given us a 49% final match score, which is not that good. It's given us the math on how it's done it. And it's kind of given us a breakdown of for education, boom, 20 of 20. For technical skills, 40 of 40. For industry knowledge, boom, that's where we hit. That's where a junior recruiter or a sorcerer that hasn't taken training might say, no, it's a good match. They've got the education. They've got the experience. Submit. And this tool could act as a coach and go, wait a minute. They don't have, uh, you know, they don't have the industry experience. So pretty cool. So just in this short time, we've created one. Number one, this is not going away. AI is not going away. Take my course. Understand the building blocks, the fundamentals of ChatGPT. And then we can build something like this together. So see you next week. I want to take this time to promote the AI training for recruiters. This is a course that I've built that has everything from how to get started in ChatGPT, getting to know your way around ChatGPT, and then we jump right into recruiter-based uh, scenarios. And each lesson will have a video, and then I will give you the prompts and anything needed. And then I've even
based on some of the students' questions, created follow-up demos, and then you can interact with me and then I will grade your assignments or help you. So AI isn't going away. This is what you need for you and your team. I hope to see you in the class.